Year 9 and Happy Easter! It's amazing to have you with us today, especially if you're from KXC or St Saviour's or anywhere else, you're really welcome to join us today. Happy, happy Easter! Well, what do you think of our Easter hats? And what do you think of this weird chicken over here? Boo! <laughs> that's not a chicken, that's a cow. Anyway, we're going to have so much fun today. Do you know, historically, one of the ways the church has celebrated Easter, the priest has smuggled in loads of jokes into their sermon as a way of saying, like, Jesus had the last laugh, he conquered death, and he's alive again. So there's going to be loads of jokes smuggled into this service from people in our congregation, like, like this one here. About Bank robber goes into a bank, goes up to the bank teller and says, give me all the money or your geography. Bank teller says, don't you mean history? The bank robber goes, don't change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty more jokes like that. So our service is going to be rammed full of fun. There's going to be worship, a talk, a story, a dance class with Zulum, lots more jokes, a memory verse and some prayer. So lots to look forward to. But we're going to start with some worship. This next song is called Happy Day. So kids, this is the moment you grab mum and dad, a carer or whoever else up from the couch. You dance around the room. And in this song, if you watch carefully, some of the band are pushed to one side and the kids start playing the instruments. So watch, watch out for that. Face. And we're watching you on Zoom. So we want to see your best dance moves. Let's worship God together. Woo! Eternal, you have won the day. Shout it out, Jesus is alive. He's alive. And oh, happy day, happy day. You wash my sin away. Oh, happy day, happy day. I'll never be the same. Face to face, I am yours, Jesus, you are mine. And this joy and perfect peace, earthly pain finally will cease. And a brave Jesus is alive, he's alive. And don't I'll never be 
dance moves, amazing to see you go for it in worship. Now this next song is called Alive, where we celebrate that Jesus was dead, but is alive. And whilst we're talking about new life, at KXC, there's been a number of new arrivals in the last few weeks. And because we haven't gathered together on a Sunday, you won't have met them. But here is Indy Hughes, part of the Hughes family with Steve, Becky, Rocco and Phoenix. And as well as the arrival of Indy Hughes, Dan and Jenny Miles have had a little boy as well called Reuben Miles. So take a look at this. This is Reuben. New life springing up everywhere. So let's celebrate that God is the one that brings life. This is the cracker of a song called Alive. for those who might be affected with COVID-19 at this point. Lord, I pray for you to heal them and fill their hearts with courage and hope. Lord, I pray for our nation's leaders and the older other nations. Give them health, guidance and wisdom to make the right decisions during this difficult time. 
Lord, I pray for all those involved in the running of our healthcare system, from the ambulance drivers to the paramedics to the cleaners, the porters, the doctors, the nurses, the clinical support workers, and the many more I have not listed. I pray that you take away any fear or anxiety that they may have at this time. I pray over their exhaustion, Lord. I pray for the provision of sufficient personal protection equipments to keep them safe, Lord. And I pray for a sufficient provision of ventilators. I pray for those who have to make very difficult ethical decisions every day and perhaps several times a day. Lord, I pray that you grant them wisdom and insight. I pray for all of us that we maintain our faith and joy, whatever the circumstances around us. Give us a kind heart, Lord, to care for and to support for those who are fearful and anxious at this time. Lord, thank you that you are so much bigger than any virus. And Lord, thank you that you've you got, got the whole world in your hands. Amen. Amen. What do you call an Easter egg from outer space? An extraterrestrial. <gasps> there you all are. Oh, I've been looking all over for you. Sorry about that. And also, I'm sorry about the mess. It's been a bit of a roller coaster weekend and I've not yet had a chance to clear up. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. Last Sunday, it was Palm Sunday. Jesus rode in on the donkey and he was everybody's favourite person. The crowds welcomed him in and waved their palm branches. And some of you might have even made some palm branches last week as well. We also had our memory verse that came from Zechariah 9 verse 9. Now I'd love you to join me in doing it with the actions as well if you can remember them. Should we try doing it together? So I've not got anyone else to help me do it. Let's give it a go. Okay. Your king is coming. A good king that makes all things right. A humble king riding on a donkey. Well done everyone, you did that so well. We also spoke and gathered together last Friday as it was Good Friday. And what a sad story that was. Left me feeling a bit wobbly. And it ended with Jesus being killed. But what an absolute turnaround of events the rest of the story has. Let's listen to it together now. Okay, so our story starts off in a garden and it's the garden where Jesus' tomb was. Jesus' friend Mary went down to the tomb to check that everything was okay. But when she got there, she saw that the stone that had been covering the tomb had been rolled away. Now, this may sound like it's not much of a big deal, but the thing you need to understand is that stone was absolutely massive. Imagine it was as big as, as big as a car. Exactly that. But anyway, come back, come back, because there's more to this story. So Mary stepped inside the tomb and she looked and she looked and she looked, but she could not find Jesus' body. So she ran off to find some of Jesus' other friends to find out if they knew what had possibly happened. They all came back to the tomb and Jesus' friends looked in absolute disbelief at the cloths that had been left there, which had held Jesus' body, but Jesus wasn't there. The guys went off sad but Mary remained there on her own and she cried <laughs> and she cried and she cried. But anyway, I hope you're really listening to the next part because this next part of the story is about to get really exciting. Mary turned and saw two angels standing there. The angels were all dressed in white and they were glowing. They asked Mary, Mary, why are you crying? And Mary said to them, because they've taken my Lord away and I don't know where they've put him. 
she then looked over her shoulder and she saw a man standing there. He appeared next to her. So Mary said to him, if you know where they've taken my Lord, tell me and I'll go and get him. She thought maybe that man had stolen Jesus. The man said to her, Mary. Teacher, she shouted, and she ran to him. How fast do you think you would run? Faster than you say, Mole, maybe? Anyway, that man, it was Jesus. Jesus was alive. And Jesus told Mary to go and tell the rest of his friends that he was alive. That same Jesus who'd been killed and was buried in that tomb was alive. Later that evening, some of Jesus' friends were together at someone's house when suddenly someone else appeared in the room. Peace be with you, he said. He showed them his hands and his side. Why do you think he did that? Yes, you guessed it. It's because he wanted to show them the marks from when he'd been nailed to the cross. It was Jesus. They were all filled with so much joy. Jesus took a deep breath and said, peace be with you. So the Father sent me, so I'm also sending all of you. And just as he'd been given the Holy Spirit, he gave his Holy Spirit to all of his believers. And he also gives the Holy Spirit to all of us. That is the best story I've ever heard. It makes me want to get up and dance. <laughs> well, that's what we're going to do now. And we've invited one of our friends to help us, Zulim. Some of you may know him. Zulim is a brilliant dancer and he's going to teach us some moves. So get to your feet. We're going to get dancing. Good morning, everyone. And happy Easter Sunday. Uh, he is risen. Woo! <laughs> so to celebrate. Today, this momentous day, we're going to learn a little dance to a song called All Around by Israel in the New Breed. Do check it out on streaming services. I'm here with my very able backup dancers. I mean, little sisters. I'm Maka and Sumter. Thanks for joining me. And here are the steps. So first, we step to the right. A little spin. And clap. We spin to the left. Repeat and clap. And then we go behind behind and then we bring it in and hug ourselves okay so that's the first part of the dance we're going to repeat that for you we go to the right back to the left and behind and behind and bring it in great so the second part of the dance super easy you'll get it in no time we go one two three clap one two Three, clap. Everywhere I look, your love is all around. That was a freestyle at the end there. So we'll do that again for you. We go five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. Everywhere I look, your love is all around. So putting that all together, we go five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, clap. Around and again, one, two, three, clap, two, three, clap. We go one, two, three, clap, one, two, three, clap. Everywhere I look, your love is all around. One more time, one, two, three, clap, one, two, three, clap. Everywhere I look, your love is all around. I'm freestyle. <laughs> everyone I saw some excellent dance moves going on there my name's Kath and dancing is actually one of my 
favorite things to do, especially when I'm celebrating something really good. And today we are celebrating the best thing that's ever happened in history. And that's what we've just heard about in the story that Lois read in the Bible. Jesus rose from the dead. This is incredible news and it has changed everything, not just for back then, but for us today. Because when Jesus, who was God's own son, died and then rose again, he showed us that nothing can separate us from his love. None of the bad stuff that we've done, none of the bad stuff that's happened to us, none of the darkness or the fear or the sickness, not even death can separate us from his love. He is more powerful than any of that stuff. And it's like Jesus, when he rose from the dead, he took all the bad stuff that we'd ever done and he said, Take that bad stuff, take that darkness, take that death. He has the victory over it all. And it means that even now the sad and the bad and the scary things that happen or that we see around us, do you know, they are not going to last. And not only that, we now get to be friends with Jesus forever. And when we trust in him, he sends his own spirit to live inside us. It's like a fire of his love that lives in us and gives us hope and gives us joy. Do you remember at the beginning of the story when Mary was crying in the tomb and Jesus had died and she was just so sad? But then suddenly Jesus himself was standing there. And he said to her, Mary, and she didn't recognize him at first, but when he said her name, she suddenly knew that it was him. He had risen from the dead and she went from having so much sadness to being filled with so much joy that she just had to run and tell everyone he had risen from the dead. And there might be times when, like Mary, we are just filled with sadness, maybe when everything has gone wrong. But it's at these times that Jesus is calling our name. And we can ask him to show us that he is near, that he is alive, and that his love for us is more powerful than anything. And that's when our sadness can turn to joy. And this week, our memory verse is, are you ready for it? Jesus said, I am the living one. I was dead. And now look, I am alive forever. Now let's do it all together. I know you can help me out and let's say it really loud. I want to hear you from the other side of the television. Are you ready? Jesus said, I am the living one. I was dead, but now look, I am alive forever and ever. Yes. So let's talk to Jesus now in prayer. You might like to lay a hand on your heart. Perhaps you have a bit of sadness inside now that needs turning to joy. So let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you are alive and you are with us now. We ask that you would come into the bits of us that hurt and feel sad so that joy will bubble up within us. Amen. Okay, I'm now going to pass you back to Lois, who's going to give you your next activity and challenge of the week. Bye. I loved all of that dancing. Now is the moment for you to hear what your activity is for after the service today. It's a great one. We would love you to put on your favourite party outfit and have yourself your very own Easter celebration. 
You might want to do a dance. You might want to make up a rap. You might want to listen to your favourite songs. If you're feeling creative, you might want to make the words Jesus is alive out of objects in your home. And we would love to see photos and videos of you celebrating this incredible day. So please send them through to stories at kxc.org.uk. And then once you've had a moment to catch your breath after your party, after the service, we would love for you to take a moment to listen to what God might be saying to you on this very special day. We suggest you listen to the song Story of the Cross by Rend Collective. And take a moment, you can talk to Jesus because he's alive and he's with us, but also listen to what he might be saying to you today. And finally, we have this week's Challenge of the Week! Challenge of the Week! Yes, it's that time of the week again. And we just wanted to say thank you to all of those people who sent through care boxes to Neil Gillespie's friends. That brilliant idea that came in last week from Ben Hughes. And it's not too late for you to get involved with last week's challenge. So if you are still keen to make any care packages, please do email abby.reese at kxc.org.uk and she can give you all of the information. Now for this week's challenge of the week, we would love you to tell your funniest joke to someone that you love, maybe a family member or a friend. So you could video it and send it to them. You could send it to them via post if you wanted, or just pick up the phone. And we would love you to also send all of those jokes in to stories at kxc.org.uk because it'd be great to have something to laugh about each week on a Sunday. Also, just as Benj did a couple of weeks ago, we'd love for you to send in any ideas you have about what we can be doing as our challenge of the week as the weeks go by. Well, that's all from me. But after this, we're going to be singing a song together. And before that, we've got one little moment for a joke. What did one Easter egg say to the other? Heard any good yolks today? (laughs) (laughs)
fortunate leave is the end of our service. Hooray! <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Just a reminder that there's going to be an 11 a.m. and a 4.30 p.m. service as well. And one other thing is a special Easter tree at 6 p.m. Um, after the 4.30 p.m. service, we're encouraging everyone to open up their doors and windows and we're going to let worship fill the streets. We've put a song on our website, kxc.org.uk forward slash Easter. We're encouraging everyone to play this song together, 6 p.m. We believe worship changes the atmosphere on our streets, so we want to fill up our streets with worship to do that. And we'll see you next Sunday. God bless and goodbye. Bye. Bye.